I'm the cinema curator at Watershed, uh, which is a multi-arts venue in Bristol. And we have been a member of Europa Cinemas um, since Europa Cinema started um, about 25 years ago. And that's been one of our key um, partnerships um, with Europe in the early days, the media programme, and then Creative Europe. And it was really important um, for me professionally uh, and also for Watershed um, because it allowed us and it facilitated us in being networked into European partners, being connected with the growing membership of Europa Cinemas. Um, we then made um, networks, um, colleagues that we worked in partnership with um, to develop and develop projects um, which were pan-European, but also we did um, bespoke discrete projects. Um, ABC of Cinema was one of them that we did on archive uh, films with, actually with um, the Cinematheque in Bologna uh, and with Flatpak Festival um, in, in Birmingham. And that was a, a, a partnership around um, archive film, but actually it developed out of another partnership with um, the Cinematheque in Bologna and Il Cina Marie Trovato Festival in Bologna. Um, and through, through that, it, it actually led to me setting up Cinema Rediscovered um, Festival in Bristol. Through the project, we got to know Gianluca Farinelli, the director of um, Il Cina Marie Trovato, um, and one of the key players in the, the restoration and archive world in the Cinematheque in Bologna. Uh, and he gave us his blessing to name the festival um, an English translation of Il Cine Retrovato, which was Cinema Rediscovered, um, which we've been running for five years. And it was really important for us as a, um, a, you know, in Bristol, as getting the festival established to have that support of such an established festival So what, what Creative Europe um, has allowed us to do that we, we just wouldn't be able to have done um, was, was develop and realise um, international projects. Um, so the festival Cinema Rediscovered that we did was something that, that grew out of um, the relationships and partnerships that we had developed over the past 25 years um, with Europe. Uh, and through getting to know the um, the various players in the industry, um, the, the various professionals across the different sectors of, of the industry. Um, then building up those relationships through meetings at markets, at festivals, at different forums, um, which were facilitated by um, structures, European structures like Europa Cinemas. I mean, they're meeting in Cannes for example, um, their conference, their annual conference, which is now a biannual conference um, that they held was such an important um, meeting point. Yes, business could be done, of course, but also it was a way of meeting colleagues, um, European colleagues, international colleagues, that for me um, was as important, if not more important than the money that we received from um, being involved in Creative Europe. The, the money was, was, was important and significant, but in a way, um, it was more about the, the networks and more about the collaborations and the partnerships, which opened up um, a wider cultural exchange. We would um, develop programming exhibition partnerships, which would be enriched by, um, you know, these collaborations and, and networks that we were plugged into across Europe. Um, and that would give us access to, um, you, you know, both archive work, but contemporary work, which we would not only show in Bristol, but work with partner exhibitors in the UK. As an independent exhibitor in the UK, um, you can feel quite isolated. And, you know, yes, we have partnerships with, um, you know, um, the likes of the BFI, obviously, um, and you get to know some of your own colleagues in the UK, but, but, but that's a very, um, in a way that can be a very um, insulated um, sort of context. And, and for me, um, 
talking to European colleagues and getting to know European colleagues was such an important part of um, widening my um, engagement with film culture uh, more broadly that I knew it in theory. Um, you know, I knew the Nouvelle Vague in theory. I knew, um, you know, different kinds of cinemas in theory. Um, but actually meeting um, like-minded European wide exhibitors who um, also shared that um, culture, um, but actually knew some of the um, the players in their respective countries, you felt much more tapped into a kind of wider sense of film culture. I mean, I remember um, you know being invited to talk at um, a conference on uh, audience engagement in Ljubljana. Um, at, at, um, at, at Kinodvor and um, meeting Slovenian filmmakers there um, and exchanging ideas about, um, you know, how cinemas can relate to filmmaking and film production and how that kind of inspiration of watching a film in a cinema um, for a filmmaker can start them on a um, journey of uh, wanting to make, uh, um, you know, wanting to make work. And you know, I, it was the similarities of that with um, you know filmmaking practice and um, or meeting filmmakers in in Bristol um, who were coming to Watershed. And so you can see that the dynamics were shared across um, across countries, across cultures, um, and that just led to a kind of uh, for me a much strengthened sense of what the purpose of Watershed was within its local community when you're connected in a much more international way, it emboldens your practice and it makes you realize that um, there are other people <laughs> that are doing similar work. And that shared sense of um, professional community um, really enhances uh, your own practice. During the festival, Europa Cinemas would run innovation labs. Um, and I've spoken at a few of those um, and, you know, that was part of getting to know the team at um, Il Cinema Ritrovato in, in Bologna and exchanging ideas about, because we would, we as we set up our own festival, we took some of the work from um, Il Cinema Ritrovato, some of the restorations that they were doing. But also, um, I talked to them about Ardman Animation, who are a Bristol company, and who, you know, a, a very famous Bristol company um, in, in animation. And they were doing some, um, beginning to do archive work of their early um, um, short films. And so I was able to put together, um, a connect, well, able to connect Jan Luca and the Bologna team with Ardman. And so it ha what happened a couple of years later was a, a, some of the early short films that were restored of Ardman when and um, was presented uh, at Bologna and being part of um, um, Creative Europe helped facilitate those kinds of interrelationships, um, which you can see, you know, I could see the, the, the fruits of that when it came to presenting work and exchange of work um, through exhibition. Over the years, I've seen the um, benefits of, um, the professional benefits for colleagues colleagues in the UK, colleagues that I have, um, that work with me at Watershed, um, that they have benefited from by going on some of these labs, like the, the labs in Bologna, but, you know, other ones like CKA, Arts Management, Art Cinema Management um, course that they run during the Venice Film Festival. Um, and I've seen how um, colleagues have professionally benefited from not just the attendance at the course, but also through the networking. I mean, our, our, the, the film industry, the film business, whichever part of it you're in, um, really relies upon networks. A particular memory for me was that, I mean, I was delighted that Watershed was uh, not only nominated for um, the Innovation Award from Europa Cinemas, but we also won it. Um, which which I was really delighted. So I was absolutely um, thrilled to go to Paris um, and to receive the award in the presence of Vim Vendors 
um, which was just a, a, a personal, professional um, delight, but also to receive it in Paris, um, which is a kind of um, spiritual home of cinema in, in so many ways. Um, but also when I brought the award back to Watershed, um, you know, we put it in pride of place in, a, in the public space, in our cafe bar at Watershed. And the, the feeling from the staff, it was a really shared uh, moment of um, pride. I really hope um, following Brexit that we can continue to um, develop and build the partnerships that we've, um, that, that we've established across Europe and that we can continue to show um, the range of work um, the range of European work that, the, that we've had access to, um, and also the, the wider international context. 